Okay, so today I want to talk about something that's quite important to me just as a gamer in general, and that's Call of Duty Zombies. Now I know Call of Duty now is not the most favoured game like it used to be, especially with uh, Infinite Warfare being announced and not too many people being on the, the back of that game this time around. But I want to talk about zombies and what that has been to me and why I'm I'm disappointed in, in what it is now. I mean, I'm hopeful, but I'm, I'm, I'm still disappointed. I feel it's a good time to talk about it with it being the last map coming out pretty shortly and it's supposed to tie up the, the whole storyline, so I, I thought that it would be a good idea to talk about zombies now and, and what it is and what it's meant. I'm going to break the video down into two parts. It's kind of going to be me complaining, but I'll, I'll try and refrain it as much as possible. Um, but I want to talk about, first of all, the, the gameplay and, and what what's changed over the years and why why I'm not particularly happy with it. So if we start with World at War and Black Ops 1, uh, the gameplay is pretty much the same throughout those ones. Like, uh, there wasn't much change when you talk about uh, how, how you played the game. The real sort of changes came in with, with Black Ops 2. And I feel like they took away from the game. So, when we were starting Black Ops 2, it was Transit, the first map. We got, um, we got the buildables and stuff. And whilst they were kind of cool at first, I feel like it what that started to do over time and as it's uh, as it's developed it kind of makes the game feel like we're not playing zombies anymore it feels like we're waiting to get the last zombie so we can do things now on the map like it doesn't feel like we're playing to get to the highest round anymore i mean maybe some people are but it, it, that feeling that we had in, or at least i had in black ops 1 seems to have gone like pretty much almost completely and then, as well, in, in Black Ops 2, the, the structure of the maps uh, changed quite dramatically, and that, that was probably one of the biggest impacts on me when you talk about uh, gameplay changes. So we went from maps like The Reese and stuff, which kind of felt... Well, no, they did feel. They felt structured. Like, the whole map, you knew it was one whole map, and it, it flowed. And then when you look at something like Transit, like... Even though there's teleporters in Darius, it didn't feel like I was teleporting to a new area or whatever, but when you're playing transit and you get on the bus or whatever it is in transit, the areas that you're going to, like, they're connected by basically a whole load of nothing, like, a little bit of barren road or whatever, and it feels like, it, it just, it's not connected, it doesn't flow, it, it, it doesn't flow in the way that maps like Darius or Kino or... Uh, other maps did at the time, like Moon as well. Even though that did have the separate area at the beginning, but that felt more like a cool little intro to a map. They, they never really strayed too far away from that path, and that was part of the reason, at least the structure of the map, was part of the reason that Zombies is so good in the first place. Combined with the fact that it, it the objective wasn't really anything more than Something simple, and that was just reaching the highest round or getting the most points or whatever. It feels like both of those now are, are lost, and it's more about building things and completing the Easter eggs. That, the Easter eggs are now they're more cinematic than they used to be, let's say, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it, it felt more secret. In, Black Ops 1 or whatever where no one really knew and it took a while for people to figure things out and then you had to interpret the story from that but now now it, particularly in Black Ops 3 maybe not so much in Black Ops 2 but it's much more strong in Black Ops 3 the Easter eggs are much more uh, almost handed to you as you start the game and then it explains it for you like that element of mystery in the beginning whilst it's still there in the smaller parts like figuring things out you can just do by playing the easter eggs whereas before it was pretty much open for debate like what was happening and the story was interpreted differently by different people and i kind of like that I mean, it's the same sort of reason i like games like dark souls it can be uh interpreted lots of different ways you know you have a giant community that want to spend spend time looking at that and talking about it and that, that's kind of what gave zombies the life it's got but now i'm i'm not uh I'm not, you know, a big fan of the direction that they've taken it in. And that, that doesn't just go for the gameplay, so I kind of want to talk about the story as well. So, what I'm upset with the story is, um, <laughs> I know this sounds like me bitching a lot, but 
it's something that's been important to me for a while, so I'm, I'm trying to just, uh, trying to get everything that I think out without being too negative about it, and yeah, that might not be coming across too well. But anyway, <laughs> no, what I don't like about the story and where they've taken it, again, it kind of all stems from the end of Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 is where I feel that zombie started to go downhill. And, and where it started to go downhill for me particularly was when, at the beginning of Black Ops 2, we didn't immediately or hint at solving the uh, cliffhanger that we got at the end of Moon on, uh, on Black Ops 1, where everyone was stranded there and we didn't know what was going to happen to them. And I thought, yeah, okay, maybe by the end of the, the game we'll get something more on them. Um, and we did in a way, we got something on the original characters, but not in the way I was expecting, we got Origins. And that's where I feel that it completely, it was completely lost on me, because what starts happen now is we're getting these extra dimensions and stuff, and the original characters themselves, but not really themselves, and I just, I feel like before then, things were never pushed too far out of the boundaries, so the things that Zombie did really good prior to Black Ops 2, and I guess maybe a little bit through Black Ops 2, though I don't think Black Ops 2 expanded on it very well, is the fact that the things that they used for inspiration were things sort of at the time that it would have been a factor. So if you look at uh, the fact that it's supposed to be set in World War II sort of era, we had the whole conspiracy theories which was quite uh, quite strongly played throughout Zombies. So you have the whole thing about the Germans trying to make super soldiers and playing with Tesla coils and whatever it is. And then as we got towards Moon, we started to approach the conspiracies about the American government and reverse engineering alien stuff and whatever and that those two sort of things were kind of played really well throughout those two games and I feel as the game sort of moved away from world war games and we got more to these modern games they've stopped I wouldn't say they've stopped caring about it but they've stopped they've stopped using it as importantly as it was like before it was it felt like the pretty much the the base of everything was was particularly what the Germans were working on and all that sort of conspiracy stuff. And that's kind of lost now because we've got dragons and alternate dimensions and all this crazy stuff that's going on now. And I just feel like before then, the it pushed the boundaries without going too far. And now it's pushed the boundaries to the point where it's just kind of ridiculous what's, what's happening. And the new map, I think it's coming out on the 8th, I think, very soon. The 8th of this month. Um... And I'm hopeful, I mean, Revelations is, is the last map for this storyline, and uh, I'm sure most of you, if you're watching this and you're interested in zombies, you've probably seen some of the videos of, uh, of Jason Blundell saying that he wants to put a bracket on this zombie storyline, so when we get to the end of this map, uh, Revelations, they're obviously going to keep doing zombies, but they'll, they'll start from a, a new storyline. But he wants to put a bracket on this storyline by the end of it, and there is still a lot of things up in the air from a long time ago. I'm hopeful that they can solve it, because I know the Zombies team is really good, and they do put a lot of effort in. And I, I would like to see them uh, change my my view on the more current, the modern zombie stuff that, that's been going on. Uh, but I'm just... I've not played any of the maps, so I've, I've not played from from the beginning of Black Ops 3. I mean, I played the Giant, I pre-ordered and got that map, but I'm not a huge fan of what they did, and that kind of turned me off Black Ops 3. The main reason I bought Black Ops 3 actually was for the zombies aspect, and I haven't played it for that aspect at all. I, in fact, I played more multiplayer than zombies, which for me is unusual, and then I, I've even put the multiplayer down now. I don't, I don't really touch Black Ops 3 anymore. But I, I do actually sometimes go back to playing uh, Black Ops 1 and stuff, and I, I kind of feel like it's a shell of what it used to be, even though there's more content and there's, there's much more in it, I, I feel like it's a shell of what the game used to be, particularly storyline and stuff. It feels like they've gone from, uh, from a game that they tried hard with to get it into World at War in the first place, and then started working on this storyline and stuff. It feels like... It's been taken over by the, the whole sort of Call of Duty mentality, which is the game becomes generic and just the same sort of stuff now, every time. 
that feels like what all the DLCs kind of been in in Black Ops 3. But I'm hopeful for the last map that since it's the last one, they'll they'll send zombies off with a bang and we'll get to uh, we'll get some good bits of info which will explain all the stuff that was missing and hopefully resolve cliffhangers in a satisfying way and um, and really make zombies sort of end the way it should end. I, I mean, I really feel it maybe should have ended after Moon, maybe one more map could have ended it, but yeah, I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm really hopeful for, for zombies, but I guess that's just because I'm a big zombies nerd or whatever. But yeah, I mean, not everybody agrees with me, and I'm sure there's plenty of people who may or may not watch this who don't agree with me, and if you don't, that's fine, but leave a comment or whatever, and you know, we can talk about it and, and see where other people's opinions lie. Because, again, that's the, that's the thing about zombies. It's built up such a community based on debate on what happened and what is happening. And I feel like that that's becoming smaller and smaller as the, as the story goes on because it's more set in stone what's happening almost. So, yeah, I mean, if you do disagree, I mean, I'm very open to talk about it. And, you know, I'm definitely not right and nobody else is definitely right. You know, it's all really opinion-based so yeah I mean that's my little run <laughs> my little run over on the on Call of Duty Zombies and why I don't like why it's changed or whatever so yeah I mean I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm gonna try to do more of these videos I, I quite like doing a video where I, where I just talk about things especially in gaming so yeah I'm gonna try and keep doing this and I'll try and get better with the format and how I how I talk about it maybe I'll start scripting them or whatever so Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.